LED lighting systems are making poultry houses more energy efficient. Since we first started testing the LEDs back in January 2009, they have come a long way. And I keep going back and visiting with a lot of the folks who got their LEDs. This was about two years ago. Are you still happy? And the majority of them are saying, yes, we're happy because A, we've reduced our lighting electrical usage by about 80% as compared to when we had incandescent bulbs. And then for those who went to the energy efficient fluorescent compact lamps, they've been very pleased with replacing them with LEDs because the LEDs are holding up. I hear of very few failures with the LED bulbs in poultry houses. Susan Watkins, a University of Arkansas Extension poultry specialist, has been testing new energy efficient lighting systems in poultry houses for several years and says there have been a lot of improvements in LED technology. When we first were testing the bulbs four or five years ago, it was almost $50 per bulb. Now we're beginning to see the a generation, particularly these A19s, where they're $16 to $20. And many of the utility companies are now providing rebates for Energy Star rated bulbs. When we first were starting to test these bulbs, it was taking about two years to pay off the bulb investment with the energy savings. Now it's taking six months to pay off these bulbs with the um, reduced prices and then the energy rebates that they're able to get. We have seen an interesting um, fact from the LEDs is the birds tend to be a lot calmer under these light sources. If we have birds that are calm, they're eating, they're drinking, and they're not running around or they're not agitated by the quality of the light, and that means that that food is going to grow in birds and they're not running it off and, and um, impacting our feed conversion. In the original testings that we did and back in 2006, 2007, we said, okay, let's look at more energy efficient technologies, dimmable compact fluorescents or cold cathodes. They saved us about 60, 65% on the energy usage compared to incandescents. But what we found with the dimmable compact fluorescents is they just don't hold up. One, they're sensitive to power fluctuations. Two, they're sensitive to if the dimmer gets turned down below 10%, then that's going to impact the um, longevity of that bulb. Versus with an LED where you turn the, when you dim them, you're actually increasing the lifespan of those LEDs. If a grower is considering switching to LED lights and in, in they're dimming their houses, one thing they need to be aware of is not all dimmers are going to be compatible with the LED technology. So if they put in the LEDs and, and their dimmer now won't dim their lights, they may have to put at least one compact fluorescent maybe over the feed pan in order for there to be enough resistance in that electrical line to feed back to that dimmer so it can detect the load and then actually dim it. Watkins says a number of poultry house equipment distributors are now offering LED bulbs for growers who want to transition to them. For more information, visit poultryscience.uark.edu and click on Research and Extension.